a recent video we looked at the Zener uh, diode. It has a property while it's reverse bias. You can see the black bands towards the more positive side of the circuit. We, that's the cathode, the black band. Anode is the side without a band. We build up a Zener voltage once current starts flowing through it. Now that varies a bit though based on how much current is flowing through it. So if you're just using a resistor, you'll have the supply voltage minus the Zener voltage across the resistor and uh, therefore current will change quite a bit as the supply voltage changes. But if you take a current source such as we wired here, we I wired this up in a recent video to pass one milliamp of current. Uh, pretty much no matter what the supply voltage is as long as it doesn't drop too low. And uh, we just gotta stop how high we go to avoid the uh, power limit of uh, both of these setups. Uh, I think we could go a bit over 20, but uh, 20 should be uh, perfectly fine. So, in any case, we're going to look at how much more stable that is with the current source than a resistor. So now we'll zoom in to get a closer look at the uh, wire. So I got rid of that gray jumper that was there because it wasn't doing anything. It wasn't uh, connected to anything, so I don't want it to be uh, distracting. So this is an auto range meter. All I have to do is set it to voltage, and it does the rest. Right now the power supply is set to 20 volts. We'll uh, zoom back and look at that. Uh, but in any case, there you can see we got 5.111 volts across the Zener diode. And then uh, we got the exact same voltage there, so that's uh, pretty good. So that is at uh, 20 volts right there, and I uh, will zoom back. So that is a good current uh, for the side with the resistor. So we'll zoom back even more. Sorry about the mess up above. And first I'm going to go to our uh, current source one, which uh, should give us a more uh, steady voltage. So we are up at uh, 20, and I'm going to go down, and I'm going to lower it pretty rapidly for uh, the current source uh, side. So it looks like uh, eight volts, we held steady seven, starts dipping down a little bit. So still not uh, terrible, but uh, by seven, we were actually losing uh, some of the voltage that it was showing. So uh, it was pretty much perfect though, it looked like up until then. So now we got this, uh, you can see how much we lost here. And you're gonna notice uh, that it goes up a little bit each time I raise the voltage even one volt and uh, so now you can see it's going up every time I press it I'm gonna just go a little quicker and uh, we will get uh, looks like 17 is not bad 18 so it kind of leveled off looks like about there holding a little bit uh, more steady but in any case there you can see we needed uh, quite a bit more voltage to get the uh, current uh, with that set up there so that's a 4700 ohm resistor if we had uh, lower voltages we were working with, we could use a lower value resistor and get a little more current going through it and it would be more stable. But uh, hopefully we made the point about how much more stable a current source is than a resistor. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.